America is a land where people have the freedom to pursue love, liberty, and happiness. It's also a land where self-protection is a big right as well. In this landscape, it is good to nail down one's protection weapon. That's why we are reviewing the best Ruger 9mm pistols today. We want to make sure that you have one less worry on your mind in your choice of a gun. But first, make sure you get that notification bell so that you can uphold your right to know when we post a video. Also, make sure you like and subscribe as it's a great way to help us continue to bring you great quality content. The first one we're going to talk about here is the LPC. It's the type of pistol that is so compact that it would almost fit into a handbag. There are 16 models here, the 3701, 3752, 3791, 13710, 3713, 3725, 3732, 3734, 3741, 3742, 3745, 3746, 3755, 3760, 3770, and 13706. All of them have a 6 plus 1 capacity. With the LPCs, the barrel lengths are 2.75 inches. They have sights that are integral. After this, the specs get more complicated as well as there are pricing differentials. Since there are so many LPCs out there, we're really only going to pick the best investment to talk about, and that is the 3752. This one has it all, and it retails for just over $400. It is 5.16 inches in length, which means that you will have no problem concealing it. It is made of through-hardened alloy steel. The grip frame is glass-filled nylon. It has a nice black oxide finish. The other guns in this line are a variation of the LPC and come in colors ranging from pink and baby blue to having the American flag on them. While it can be interesting to have a colored gun, it's really not necessary for the performance or safety. Those who want the added bells and whistles will have to look at special carriers too, because some of them are exclusive to certain shops. Back to the 3752, it features the Viridian E-Series Red Laser. In a pinch, this gun will do just fine for a point and shoot. One thing about this line is that it's not available in Canada. However, in Canada, gun laws are more strict and it would probably only be law enforcement that would carry this type of weapon anyway. You can tell that LPCs are made for American consumers due to the fact that you can find them in pink, purple, American flag plastered, grey, pink cameo, light brown, turquoise, red trigger, blue trigger, and pink plus grey. They're a pistol that the average person in America would want with a price point that many can afford as well. Now moving out of LCPs, let's look at the LCP2. The LCP2 obviously has different specs. They are meant to be an improvement on the LCP with higher caliber and capacity. However, some of the LCP2s are just similar to LCPs. The only difference is price point, color, and materials. This would apply to the 3750, 3758, 13711, 3757, 3759, 3779, 3781, 3786, 3788, 3789, 3792, 13702, and 13707. However, there are two LCP2s that are different. Both the 13705 and the 13714 are with a 22 LR caliber. They also have a 10 plus 1 capacity. Additionally, the barrel length is 2.75 inches, as is also standard for the LCPs. The sights are also integral. We will be choosing one of the LCP2s as a buyer's pick. For those that really want to step up their game and like basic black, then the 13714 is the way to go. The length is 5.2 inches, so again it can be a conceal and carry weapon if necessary. The grip frame is still the glass filled nylon that is signature of the LCP. It weighs 11.4 ounces, so a person will really not notice it weighing them down. The barrel is stainless steel for easy cleaning and durability. The slide material is alloy steel. It's really just the minor upgrades with this one. For example, it features the Hogue handle grip sleeve and light rack system. All in all, 
you'll pay an extra 50 bucks for the one we chose above. You'll just get those little adjustments that makes this a slightly improved LCP. Those who are really liking the LCP line but want the best might want to consider the LCP Max. There is only one to choose from, so it can make that decision-making process just that much easier. It has improvements such as better grip and a more ergonomic design. Ideally, people should have a weapon for peace of mind and not worry about repeated use. This is why we would say that the LCP Max is really something for someone in the line of duty. It has better sights and it has a magazine holder. It is not something that the average American will be needing, but the improvements do give it added performance for price point. Next, there is the LC380. It's a little more clunky, but still a lightweight performance piece. It's the same size as the LC9. It's an upgrade though because it offers reduced recoiling. The gun has a dovetailed, high visibility, three dot sight system. It also has a seven round magazine. There's a manual safety and a loaded chamber indicator. For those who are worried about safety, this is a better pick than the LCP. It's less of an aesthetic piece and has more inbuilt safety features for peace of mind. This is a good gun for households where the gun is stored in a safe and may be used by multiple household members. It has a 380 auto caliber. The capacity is 7 plus 1. Additionally, the barrel length is longer than the LCP models at 3.12. Just due to the safety features alone, the gun is worth paying $639 for. It's more of something that is a household gun than something in a glove compartment due to the extra size though. Next, there are the EC9s. There are 16 offered in this category, so we can't be reviewing all of them. Many of them have an extra feature like a special color that make them stand out from the pack. The slide finish materials also differ. Really here, what you are looking at is slightly different capacities and calibers than the other pistols that we just went over. They all have 9mm Luger caliber and 7 plus 1 capacity. Also, they all have a barrel length of 3.12 inches. You are looking at colors like purple, brown, turquoise, light grey, pink muddy girl cameo and American flag. Some of them are exclusive to Davidson's distributor, RSR Group distributor, Sport South distributor, Talo distributor or Bill Hicks distributor. You can take your pick based on these small differences, but we chose the 13211. This one has thorough hardened alloy steel. The barrel material is also alloy steel. The grip frame is glass filled nylon. Also, the sights are integral. It weighs 18 ounces so it is heavier than some of the other Rugers. However, it's still a solid pick with a suggested retail of $369. The overall length is 6 inches, which makes it still small. Most of our picks here will be the type of weapon that you could feel comfortable carrying all day. It's also, surprise surprise, a black weapon, but for some extra dollars you can get something fancier. After this, we have the Max 9. Now we're getting into something a little bigger. The Max 9 has five models to choose from. The 3500, 3501, 3502, 3503 and the 3504. It's easy to remember the numbers here because they're all in sequential ordering. Anyways, this performance gun is not really big on looks because all they offer is black. It just shows the more serious nature of the Max 9. The specs vary with the capacities either being 10 plus 1 or 12 plus 1. Other than that, they're all 9mm Luger calibers. Also, the front sights are all tritium fiber optic. The 3503 doesn't have safety built in, so we're only recommending this one for professionals. Now for our pick, drum roll please, we chose the 3500. It is a 12 plus 1 capacity. It is 6 inches overall. The gun weighs 18.4 ounces, so you can really feel this one in the hands when gripping. The barrel material is alloy steel. The price for this is $559. For safety, it has the standard model with external manual safety lever. The reason why we pick this one is the higher capacity plus it is not as chunky as some of the other Max 9s. The Max 9s all have macro red dot sight. This helps with accuracy in an emergency situation. They also have a little bit of texture on the grip which helps for holding. 
Our final pick of the Rugers is the Ruger American pistol. It's still a small enough pistol to be able to conceal in a waistband holder or a pocket holster. We're going to look at the duty line that has a capacity of 17 plus 1 for ammunition. They are another 9mm Lugers. In the duty line, there are four models, 8605, 8608, 8618 and 8638. They have a longer barrel length at 4.2 to 4.5 inches. We saved this one for last because as the tagline says, anything else would be un-American. This is a pricier gun, with all of them going for 649 bucks. The only one that we don't recommend for this line is the 8605. The 8605 is the pro model, so it doesn't have the same safety features. This pistol is great for target practice as well. These guns all have a genuine Novak low mount carry 3 dot sight. This helps with finding the target and staying in line with the shooting aim. There is no trigger pull. There is also reduced recoil in this piece thanks to the barrel cam distributing the recoil over a longer time frame to reduce initial impact. This is a stainless steel pistol with black nitride finish. The slide stop works for people that are both right and left handed. While this gun is a little more expensive, it really pulls out all the stops. It's a little bulkier too for people that like to handle a gun with a little more meat. There's more to Ruger line than meets the eye. It's a very complex lineup. We couldn't explore anything available in just one short video, but you can always go to the Ruger website to get a better look at just exactly what they have to offer. We also focused more on the smaller conceal and carry pistols, but there are other larger ones in the lineup as well. Every American should have at least one gun in possession. You really never know when you will get a noxious intruder and need to save your life. It's a sad reality of the world that we live in, but Americans have the right to protect themselves from threats. You should train your daughters as well at the range and get them their own gun license and gun. They even come in fun colors. Anyways, we've talked your ears off of the merits of the Rugers. If you like this video, make sure you let us know which gun you would pick. We want to hear from you as well. Do you think there's a gun in the pistol lineup that we missed out on showcasing? Until next time, stay safe out there.